Good morning, guys. Welcome to today. I got Ellie in the car. I got Ellie Belly. She's so excited to go. <laughs> she had a bath yesterday. She needed it. Anyway, welcome to today's video. We're headed out, Sam and I. I found something on Facebook Marketplace that I really want. So we're gonna go and pick that up and then we're gonna head it to the sales barn and see if there are any more horses there. I doubt there will be another horse, but we found out something from our friend the other day. Did you guys know that Amish people sell their horses when they're 15, regardless of if they have any problems or anything, kind of like upgrading a car. They just sell their Amish horses at 15 because then they kind of like avoid all the problems that aging horses have. If you think about it, that's kind of sad. If your horse has lived with you for a long time and then you just get rid of it because it's getting old, that makes me sad. So I'm starting to get a little bit older. So it's pending, our whole herd is aging actually. Um, and I'm happy to just let them be with us forever and to be able to rest when they need to. But Sam and I, there's no rest for us because we still have kids at home and lots of animals. So let's go pick up this new thing. I'll show you what it is. Okay, so here's what I want you guys to know. Life gets hard when you don't have a plan. Life gets hard when you don't have anything to do. Look, being able to look forward and having something to do each day helps with your mental health in a massive way. And that looks different for everyone. For me, it's waking up and knowing that I have a job to do every single day. Part of it is taking care of the animals and taking care of the kids, but it's more than that. It's about being busy every single day and having something to do to make life better or easier for us or for our animals. And today, I wanna to continue working on this coop. Hello? Oh, <laughs> you're so good. Good for you. <laughs> good morning, Sophie. <laughs> look at that, look at that little duck. He's waiting for his friends to come out. No, he really wants that. I know, it's gonna happen soon, I promise. I have a feeling she's broody. You have a feeling she's broody? I see her laying there, I saw her laying there yesterday too. But then she changed spots, so I don't know. So, Sophie's conquering her fears. Go out there, people, and conquer your fears. He attacks me. Well, not really. He chases behind me until you he look follows at him. you. He literally yeah. follows me too until you look at him, and then he backs up. Yeah, if you look at him, he's like, I didn't do anything. So the plan for today, my plan for today, that keeps my mental health going nicely, is to may is to paint all this hardware cloth. I want to paint it all. It's gonna be hard. Maybe not, but I want to paint it so that it looks nicer in here and I want to put some new bedding down. I need to get more food. You're not laying on anything, so you must be laying an egg. He's so cute. A little toad. He eats from that thing too? Yeah, so we have two big feeders in here and then we have feeders obviously in the apartment building. <laughs> I call this the apartment building. Remind Favorite duck that we have and then my favorite chicken meat. I love our little girl duck. Ow. She makes me so happy. I feel like it's the process of getting projects done that make you, that bring you happiness. And I love getting a project done. So every day I like to work in my garden because it brings me peace. Every day I like to spend time with my pig and my horse because it gives me peace. But every day I like to have a busy job to do. Something that like, gives me motivation to wake up each day. So that's my advice to you guys today. And before you go to bed every night, make a plan for what you're gonna do to tomorrow. Even Gabby does that. Before I forget, this is what we got off Marketplace. We stopped to pick up this morning. We went to pick up this morning. And the reason that we got it is because it's gonna be scorching hot today and we are gonna swim. The pool's looking so good. It's super warm. The bottom, I need a vacuum or you need to get in and swim and move all that stuff to the top so it can get filtered out. But it's looking super good. Got us a ladder, it's old, but it'll work. All right, we're at the sales barn, but Sophie just said she didn't wear the right shoes for this. I literally have sandals on because I'm like, it's dry everywhere. There's no, there, well I guess there has been rain, but there's no water anywhere. Except for here, there's a flood. I'm like what the heck? How do you have like the only water in the whole area? Anyway, we're at the sales barn. Who thinks we're gonna find a horse today? We, Sam and I already said we're not buying a horse, like, impulse buy. <laughs> we're not doing it today. So, who thinks there will be, who thinks there will be a horse here? You think there's gonna be a horse here? No. Do you the think? chances of horses here are very rare. Yeah, they don't come very often, but 
Anyway, let's go see what they have Watch today. Watch there be one. I know, I'm like so nervous because I have like bad willpower. Sam's dream. If he was in here, he'd want it. Do you guys see it? A Highland cow. It's gorgeous. Some baby cows. I love you. One day, you guys, we're gonna have a cow. I keep saying, one day we're gonna have this, one day we're gonna have that. And it always happens, unless I change my mind. I love baby cows. I love cows. If we had a cow, it would be the friendliest little cow. The Highland, yeah. It is so cute. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> She's so cute. They're just chewing their cud relaxing <laughs> all right so we didn't see a horse but we did see some goats a goat there's one goat two goats oh, you're friendly. yeah oh oh boy? my goodness it's a big boy bet you that one's a boy too it's so much easier just to find a home for your boys than to send them to the sales barn that sounds like the boy this does not all right, pick it up and let's see. I feel like this is a girl. It's a boy. <laughs> Always boys at the he sales barn know. because they don't have a job on the farm. Well, Hi, baby. You're really cute. Are you pulled? I feel like that one's pulled. No, he's got horns. I see it. So I often get messages saying like it hurts people to know that animals are at the sales barn and are stuck in little cages like this. But the truth is that it hurts me too. Especially when they're afraid. These guys are not scared. A lot of those sheep weren't scared. But the problem is is that you have to think ahead and think that it's just a temporary stopping ground for like a few hours and then they're going to their new homes. Even though these guys are super cute, one thing I don't want is a sheep because I don't like the whole idea of having to shear them. But you're pretty darn cute. That is a face that makes me sad. Look into his eyes. He looks so sad. It's okay. I love you. I'm a pig lover. Look at those big giant ears. I think you're pretty cute. I could cry over that because pigs literally love so hard and they just have so such deep emotion. They just feel so deeply. And you're really sweet. Imagine one of those things laying on my lap. They had exactly what you want. A Highland cow? Yeah, and it was a nice color. Was it a miniature? It wasn't a miniature, but Highland cows are so small anyways. Like, why do you need a miniature? It was a big one? A regular size one. Small. Girl or boy? Probably a boy, but it was gorgeous, and it's the color I love. Sam and I literally feed off each other. I'm like, there was a cow, and he's like, okay, let's go get it. No, <laughs> and we come back to reality. Anyways, I want to show you guys what I bought for Gabby and Sophie. You guys know that it's been a summer for painting for them. Well, they have these watercolor brushes. But Gabby says the brushes that we have are suck. So I bought our new ones. Gabby. Okay, I told you we needed big ones. Oh. These are so well, I mean, they're good for something probably. Good for a start. They're good for a start. All right, well, we'll go to the craft together. store and we'll... And I got some for Get Sophie, too. All right, so we are getting green now. But you know what's weird about us? Is that, and I know other people are like this, too. But we all, well, actually, just Gabby and I love to go in the car. We just love to go in the car. I guess, like, we would have been good in the car as babies. But we love to go in the car, so... Even if like I'm, we're going someplace and I'm not going to go like in the store or I'm not going to get out and do whatever we're doing. I like to just go and I like to be in the car. I like to, I think I've told you guys this before. I like to just sit there and Gabby too. I don't know what it is. We have like our whole house. We could just sit in there and read or do whatever. I mean, we like to go in the car. We like to be in the car. I don't know why, but even sometimes when we get home, I'll just sit in the car for like an extra 10 minutes. And just like relax, read my book talk to whoever I'm talking to on my phone like messaging them and then but it's weird like Gabby comes to Horde Station with us every week even though she's not her thing and she never goes in she just likes to go and I like that too I just like to go so the hardest part about farming is the feed it's carrying this feed everywhere we need it to go 
big overdue on this coupe. I'm just gonna paint all the hardware the hardware cloth black so it disappears, and then I'm gonna clean up this ground. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go get a rake, and I'm gonna put new bedding down and make it all fresh for everybody. What do you guys think? You ready for a makeover? Before I do anything, I am going to <laughs> I'm going to shave Ellie. So I always keep her shaved. I've been keeping her shaved in the summer. And even though she just has a little bit of hair growth back, she gets so hot. This dog runs hot. And if she's like always hot, she can't handle the heat. So different than my chihuahuas. So I like to take all this fur right down and then she does better and then she doesn't have to swim all summer. The reason that she even wants to swim all the time is because she just gets so hot. So I'm gonna do that quick while I have time and while the sun is heating up the pool and then I'm gonna paint the chicken coop and then I'm gonna swim. Hello, hello, is somebody knocking at the door? Oh, it's you. So I ended up cutting Ruby's hair just a little. I like her to have like hair. I just cut it so that it takes off all the like extra stuff. It kind of just helps keep mats away. Hey, stop chasing chickens. Come here, Ellie. Ellie. And I shaved Ellie right down. So she's gray again. Well, she was always gray. Do you want help? Do you want help? Anyway, I shaved her right down. I kept her face. Wait, let me help you. We don't not need any more injuries. Yeah, don't let it fall on me. Oh, there we go, it's going. Sad thing about the brooder, you guys. So I'm gonna take this thing apart and we're gonna use the wood and build something else. All right, there's Ellie. So Ellie, I didn't do anything to her face. I just did her body. She's sleek. Neither of the dogs are perfect and that's okay. I just want them to be comfortable for summer. And I know that Ruby overheats if she gets too long. With Ellie, it doesn't matter how short her hair is, she overheats all the time. So taking off all that hair, even though it didn't look like she had a lot, there was a lot that came off. So anyway, she'll be a lot cooler. She won't have to swim in the, in the water troughs this summer. I love watching the chickens just roam around. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, so this is what the chicken coop looks like right now. I'm gonna show you guys in a few minutes. I got my paint, I'm gonna get everything ready. I'm gonna paint the hardware cloth and see if you guys like it better. So do you like it better like this? Ta-da! I don't know if it looks any different. <laughs> Uh, there are some spots that I couldn't paint very good anywhere. It's doubled so like right here on the inside of these bars You can see But I painted everything. Oh, well not all of it. I'll show you put new <laughs> Bedding in I put bedding in this alleyway too because they like to come over here and and Walk this is where they go when it's hot out. They come in here because it's dark and it's cool so just put new bedding in this area, new bedding in that area, painted all this. See, this is the difference. See, you see the white? You don't see the white. So I didn't paint, I didn't paint that stuff. It's just chicken wire. Oh, Sam, we need some oil. I didn't paint the stuff at the top, even there at the top, see the difference? I just want a guinea jump. Yeah, they're so cute. I love them. We love watching them. Uh oh, they're making a mess in their water. Hi, little turkey. This little turkey is tiny, so we put him up here so we can keep an eye on him better. He's with the smaller animals. He's super cute, though. I think it's a girl. I hope it's a girl. I love her. She's the one that we got at the sales barn the other day. Here it is with the lights out. I'm gonna close it up. <clears throat> we basically just keep this door open here and when I'm working in there, usually I keep this door closed during the day. It's so dark and and calm. it's so dark in here that they come in here when they get hot. All right, so I have shaved Ruby, shaved Ellie. Uh, I've painted the chicken coop and cleaned out the bedding. And now I'm ready to swim. My final reward, just joking. <laughs> you guys know when you have children, things always pop up or even when you have animals things always pop up so I'm gonna go watch Gabby she's going to lunge stormy boy and then I'm gonna swim first I need a water man honestly so many lunge ropes on this farm can't find any of them all right I found two of them I got it 
Come on, Ellie. My horse likes you now? It's because you're free. it's because you're the owner of Lady. So we're watching the herd dynamics. Penny is in charge of Lady. Yeah. But La yeah, but Lady fights. Well, she doesn't fight with anybody. Lady just tells them to leave her alone. Lady wants to be the boss. She's not giving that up. Everything takes so much time. Eh. That fridge keeps our water ice cold though, and I love it. So Gabby says you, you can adjust the horse's, her horse's head. So show them, Gabby. He puts his head down really well. Okay, so he listens. So she puts it up here. Okay, well that. Okay. She pushes down there. It's. Oh, I know bugs. You just push it down. You just push it down and it stays down. <laughs> that was from when I was. She did it better before I put on the camera. <laughs> that was when I was shorter. When you were shorter? And he used to put his head up to put the bridle on. Aww, and then he put, you taught him to put his head down and then he just kept it down for you? That is adorable. No, I trained him to leave his head where it is because, what's this? That's a lunge whip. It's a, this is not a whip, this is a flag. This is a lunge flag. Let's see if Storm likes it. So, okay, you don't know a thing about him. He is really slow. You have to smack him with a whip. Get a whip too. And he too. doesn't even do anything. Well, let's see. Sophie swears by the the flag. Sophie, I need to get more flags because yeah, he, this guy is dead broke. <laughs> oh, he's gonna his ears listening. This is what comes from having a kid as an owner. There you go. But we'll bring a we'll bring a lunging rope or a lunging whip too. We were the same age, okay? Like, uh, you are still the same the age. Rope? Yeah, I got it all. We are still the same age. He's only 20 days older than me. I so. know. Don't you dare go in that water trough. All right. We have three different fly sprays. Okay, okay you said that that was not fly spray. Homemade, $5. Homemade, $20. $50. Ho store bought, $100. We should spray it on all different areas and see which spot causes has the least amount of bugs. Well, I already did this whole side. All right, here. This one is about, look at that bug, about $5 to, to, bought, to make. I just let him walk away at this point because he... He's so annoyed by the bugs. <laughs> and then <coughs> this one it's was about $22. Oh, well, we have none left. No spots left. Do his face. head. I already did his face on one so we're gonna see, do his nose, do his neck, this side of his that neck. That killed it instantly. That killed it instantly? Yeah. That was Ultra Shear but Shield, but my $5 one killed it, in, well, didn't kill it, but got it off. Poor guy. He's so sensitive, he hates everything. He hates cold, he hates rain, he hates hot, he hates rain a lot. He does not like rain. Apparently he I'm hates bugs. Him. What? Apparently I'm lunging him. Okay, go lunge them. All right, so I filmed her, them lunging on my phone. Actually, I filmed, Sophie lunging on my phone. I'm gonna make a TikTok of it. It was, to say the least, hilarious, scary. Well, was it scary? Oh, only for Honey. Honey, who decided to pop underneath the fence line when Storm was lunging, scared the heck out of the Storm, and then uh, proceeded to run in front of Storm on the, in the lunge. So Storm chased her on the lunge. <laughs> they were lunging. Oh, it was funny. The expensive one, the last one that we used. Was they the best? It's there, because we put it there. Oh, look at that bug. Get it off of him, yeah. I, I don't See, know. that's what I'm trying to say. There's no bug spray in the so world that... One. You like this we one the best? this one on his neck. All right, this, I know what this one is and I can make a lot more. This is about $22, you guys, and I made it. I bought stuff and then I made it and it's the best one. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just